irony. Britain's erupt as head of Covid task force holding leaving party amid Covid restrictions. The civil servant responsible for drawing up the draconian lockdown measures imposed on ordinary Britons has today admitted holding leaving drinks during Covid restrictions. Dozens of officials were said to have attended the leaving drinks for Kate Josephs. The former Director General of the government's Covid task force has this afternoon apologised for a gathering held in the run-up to Christmas 2020. It is said to have taken place on the same evening the office of the UK's most senior civil servant, Cabinet Secretary Simon Case, also held a bash. At the time London was in Tier 3 restrictions with people prohibited from mixing indoors with anyone outside their household bubble. The latest party is now understood to be being looked at as part of a wider investigation into rule-breaking gatherings held by the government during the pandemic being carried out by senior civil servant Sue Gray. Ms Josephs, who is now Chief Executive of Sheffield City Council, has said she is truly sorry for the anger the drinks will have caused. She said, as people know I previously worked in the Cabinet Office Covid Task Force where I was Director General from July 2020 to December 18, 2020. I have been cooperating fully with the Cabinet Office investigations and I do not want to preempt the findings of the investigation. However as Chief Executive of Sheffield City Council I am responsible for leading the organisation and working with partners across the city and region to support our Covid response and recovery. That is why I have decided to make a statement. On the evening of the 17th of December, I gathered with colleagues that were at work that day, with drinks, in our office in the cabinet office, to mark my leaving the civil service. I am truly sorry that I did this and for the anger that people will feel as a result. Sheffield has suffered greatly during this pandemic, and I apologize unreservedly. The specific facts of this event will be considered in the context of the cabinet office investigation. I did not attend any events at 10 Downing Street. I am grateful for the ongoing support of colleagues and partners and need now to ask that people allow the Cabinet Office to complete its investigation. I will not be able to respond to any further questions until the Cabinet Office investigation is complete. Ms Josephs described herself on Twitter as a proud public servant. Revelations of her leaving drinks have emerged on the same day number 10 has been forced to issue an apology to the Queen for two parties held the night before Prince Philip's funeral. The gatherings on April 16, 2020 took place when the country was still banned from meeting those from other households indoors. The country was also still in a period of national mourning following the death of the Duke of Edinburgh one week earlier. A spokesman for the Prime Minister said, It is deeply regrettable that this took place at a time of national mourning and Number 10 has apologised to the palace. Sheffield City Council leader Terry Fox said the chief executive has discussed with him what happened and apologised face to face. He said, To be honest I need to express my deep disappointment, people will rightly feel angry and let down. I get that completely. After everything that Sheffield has been through during the pandemic, this is news that we did not want to receive. Over the last year, Kate's been an asset to our city and she is working tirelessly for Sheffield and its people. Our residents will understandably have questions and concerns, and we await the findings of the investigation. Former Sheffield Council leader Paul Scriven, who is now a peer, called for Mrs Josephs to resign. She has no moral authority to be the senior officer of the organization that leads on public health and COVID in my city, he said. There have now been allegations of 14 different illegal gatherings in held in Downing Street and the heart of government during the pandemic. The Gray Report will look into all allegations of rule-breaking and could be concluded as soon as the end of next week. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has promised to make the findings public as soon as possible once it is finished.